Sell Your Car UK is back and delighted to offer for sale this absolutely fabulous Nissan X-Trail 2.0-litre DCI Aventura Explorer Automatic. Bit of a mouthful that one. This is a rare beast. It's a 2009 on an 09 plate, first registered March 2009. It's a two owner from new car, but the second owner is the daughter-in-law of the first owner. So it's a family owned vehicle from new. Uh, and that all is backed up when you have a look at the V5. Now we're not gonna show you that in this video for data protection, but if you do come to have a look at the car, then of course you'll be privy to that information firsthand. Now it's the Aventura Explorer. So you've got loads of options on this, including obviously the alloy wheels that you saw there. Uh, it's got a reversing camera, which you can see. Hello, you can see me. Hello, uh, just there, that's what I'm trying to show you, the reversing camera. Uh, it's got uh, keyless entry, there are two keys, remote central locking, but there are keyless entry and keyless go as well. As long as you've got the key on your person, then you can access the vehicle and start it and stop it. Uh, also with the car, you've got a full panoramic glass roof, which I'll just show you from the outside here. And we'll be able to see that in more detail from the inside. Electric folding wing mirrors, electric windows, auto one touch. Uh, what else have we got in here? Satellite navigation, Bluetooth phone on the multifunction steering wheel, fog lights, and of course, being the X-Trail, it is full four by four. You can switch that. You've got a switchable, lockable differential, so you can adjust it from two wheel drive to four wheel drive, depending on what kind of off-roading or on-roading you're doing at the time. It's in lovely condition. I'm gonna show you absolutely everything on this video so that there's no little surprises when you come to view it. So let's get up close and personal with the car, and we're gonna start off with the bonnet. So it's in lovely condition. There are some stone chips, which I think you'd expect to see on a vehicle of this age with the mileage as well. The actual mileage is 52,730 something at the time of filming, which I think is very respectable for this age of car. So I'm just showing you a few tiny little stone chips that of course vanish when you step back from the vehicle. But like I said, I don't want there to be any surprises. The front bumper is in really lovely condition. There's no scrapes or scratches. Uh, that little mark you can just see there is a little bit of polish. Just wipe that off. There we are, gone. A little bit of polish, a little bit more polish. Because uh, of course we do polish the vehicles up before we sell them here uh, at Sell Your Car UK. So I'm just showing you there's no scrapes or scratches. Uh, I want to come around the whole car here in this video, but I'll try and be quick as I can while still being as thorough as possible. So I'm just showing you here. There's no front parking sensors. If that's something important, then we can have them fitted for you. Uh, now, as we come down the driver's side, showing you here, no scratches, no scrapes. Uh, there's very, very, very light. I'm being really fussy here now, aren't I? Uh, very, very light, tiny little scratch. Just there, you can see that. And then another one just there. And then a little one just there. Just about to see. There you go. Showing you everything. I don't want there to be any surprises. Uh, as we come around the driver's side front wheel, a bit of curving going on. Uh, you can have these wheels refurb should you want to. Uh, curbing's down to the rim and uh, also on the face of it as well. All four wheels are in similar condition, so we could get all four refurbished for you. Loads of life left in the tyres, loads of life as well left in the brakes, pads and discs. I can show you the tyres there, you can see for yourself. Uh, and also the discs in there as well. Pads are a little bit harder to show you but uh, we have inspected the vehicle and all is good. It was actually serviced last in October, 2015. So there's nothing to worry about there. We'll come to the service history in due course. Uh, also those front tires are relatively new as well. They came up as an advisory in the MOT in March of 2015 and they were sorted out during 2015. So nothing to worry about there. A uh, very faint, tiny, tiny little scratching going on here on the door. That will probably polish out to be fair. Uh, we have valeted the vehicle as I say and polished it but that requires a machine polish which we can have done to the vehicle should you so wish. We can have that done prior to collection of the car. Uh, wing mirror caps in very good condition. No sign of being bashed about at all. Chrome door handles here. A uh, little bit of a rub there just to get the polish off. Oh our valeters need to be shot I think on this one. There we go. 
nice and clean. Always carry a rag with you, that's what I say. Uh, this little button here, that is your door lock. So when you get out of the car, you can push that button to lock the car. And when you come up to the car, you push that button to unlock the car. Because as I say, it's keyless entry and keyless go. Just simply push the button just there. Tiny little mark just here. Let's let that zoom in, there we go. And as well, just down here as well. Uh, coming down the uh, rear of the car now, just to show you, very good condition. One thing you'll notice here is there are no little dings or dents where people have opened their car door into it. So it's a very clean and straight line uh, throughout. Very, very straight car. It's in lovely condition. The rear wheels, again, a bit of curbing, but I think that's to be expected. And like I say, easily sorted out, should you so wish. And hard to find a car in London that hasn't got that going on, to be honest, as well. Uh, I think that's to be expected a little bit. Again, now around the rear, just to show you in really fine fettle. So as I showed you earlier, it's got that uh, rear parking camera. No sensors, it's just the camera, and I'll show you the screen inside uh, when we come into the inside of the vehicle. But I'm just showing you here that it's in really, really good condition. No dents, no scrapes, no scratches. Uh, you've also got your tinted windows for the rear part of the car, which is lovely if you're carrying children because obviously it uh, keeps the sunlight out, keeps the UV rays off of them. Just showing you again, no dents. You can see me. Hello. Uh, no scrapes or anything. Really good condition. Now there is a very, very faint scratch going along here, which I'll try and show you. It's very faint. In fact, you're not even seeing it. I'm trying to show it to you. There you go, you can just about see it there. That again should polish out with a machine polish, which again we can have done. Uh, but again, I think it's not untoward for a vehicle of this age and this mileage. Uh, certainly not one being sold from a private seller and all of our cars are private sales. But obviously with us here at Sell Your Car UK, we're, offer, we're able to offer things like warranties and part exchange and finance, all of your dealer facilities that you'd expect. And of course we inspect the vehicles thoroughly, do an HPI check as well to ensure that they are clear and make sure that you're getting a car that's in really good condition. Again, showing you a bit of the damage there to that alloy wheel. Coming down the passenger side of the car now, nothing really to show you now. Uh, it's all very, very clean. No marks. Oh, okay, I'm being fussy again. I just want to show you very faint little scratch there. Again, should polish out. Clean wing mirror caps. Very clean around here as well, front wing. Uh, show you this wheel as well. A little bit of curbing. We've got locking wheel nuts as well, as you can see there we've got the key, and again good discs, good pads and good tyres. So there we are, that brings us back round to the front of the vehicle where we started. And the thing that is key to note, although I've picked up on those little imperfections, really the car is in fabulous condition, regardless of age and mileage. It really does look lovely, it'll be a welcome addition to anyone's driveway, uh, or indeed front of the house or flat. Wherever it is you're going to park it, it's a welcome addition. Let's get inside now and I'll just show you the condition inside the car because it really is lovely. So you've got full leather interior. The seats are electrically operated. They are also heated as well. You've got heated controls just here. And alongside that you've got your hill descent decline uh, which allows you to go downhill very, very slowly if you're off-roading. That locks your differential up for four-wheel drive, central locking, and then the passenger side heated seats. Above that you've got your climate control which you can adjust the temperature to, of to uh, 28 degrees from 16 so that is climate control uh, with air conditioning and uh, as it says over there auto as well and all the places you want to get warm windscreen what have you. Uh, okay so let's make our way into the car now because I'm actually going to start it up just to show you how it runs. So first thing we're going to do make sure it's in park and there's no key you just got to push in on that and twist it round. And there we are, starts no problem first time. Thing you see popping up there tells you its next service is due in about 11,000 miles. Oil is good. Couple of little lights that are showing, one for fuel, one for seatbelt, and one for the handbrake. But all other warning lights are off. This car is running absolutely perfectly. And there you can see the genuine mileage of 52,739 at the time of filming. It might be a little bit more than that by the time you come to get the car. Auto lights. Auto wipers, cruise control with your functions for cruise, multifunction steering wheel, uh, phone, Bluetooth voice command, 
uh, and that's your volumes for the stereo system over there and it's a very good stereo as well over here with the CD player uh, you can see the voice command there as well and if I press this enter button here and look up you'll see the screen changes to the satellite navigation now if I put it into reverse which I'll do without showing you you'll see that that changes to the reversing camera where if I turn the steering wheel you get this fantastic little box appear in the da in the screen there which shows you your angle of reversing make sure you don't hit anything uh, including curbs very very clever system this one and it's really really useful uh, I'll put it back into park so you can see there the sat nav is back on loads of storage whether it's this big cubby hole here in the center or you've got cup holders on either side of the dash here's one for the driver and you've got a similar one over there for the passenger side as well you've also got cup holders here in the middle and you've also got a big center storage space just here as well in the armrest uh, in the back, you've got loads of room for three humans, full size, with three by three seat belts. Uh, and you've also got Isofix points on the uh, sides as well, uh, not in the middle. And above, we've got that sunroof that I was showing you before, and a lamppost that comes in the car. No, you're not getting the lamppost, I'm sorry to say. Uh, now, this uh, is controlled using this blind here. So it's actually quite an unusual tilt and slide sunroof. Um, most of these don't actually open. Uh, most of them are just glass roofs, but this one is actually a fully functioning sunroof and a very big one at that. Can open all the way back to there. Very, very cool piece of kit. One touch as well. Take your finger off the button there and you'll see it's doing what it needs to. And then just pull this screen across here and that stops the light coming into the car. But we'll leave that open because it's a nice touch, especially with black interior, just lets the light flood into the vehicle. Uh, right, I think that's most of the stuff inside the car. I'm gonna turn off the engine. We don't need to keep that running. Uh, button down here. In fact, I'll just turn the battery back on just to show you. Press that button down there and the wing mirrors fold in and fold out with another little press of that button. Uh, you've got auto down on the driver's side. I might have said all the windows are auto. They're not one touch. The only one touch is the driver's window, just to confirm and clarify that. And then you've got your little central locking buttons and your window locking buttons there as well. Uh, you've got child locks as well, obviously, should you need them. But I'm gonna jump back out of the car. It's a bit windy, so apologies for any uh, disruption to the noise here. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you the condition of the seats. They're in really lovely condition. Well worth showing you in this video. No tears, no rips, no real signs of wear, especially for 50,000 miles. I would expect there to not be that bigger, bigger wear going on. Uh, these little bits going on down here, that's pretty standard. Uh, you've got that on both sides and in the back. I think that's actually part of the design. Uh, perforated seats, which is great for the heated seats function. You've got mats throughout, uh, although the original X-Trail mat from the driver's side has been replaced by this aftermarket mat, which is perfectly suitable and does the job probably worn out a little bit they're not the most hard wearing of pieces of equipment floor mats they certainly charge you for them uh, and in the back here you've got mats as well and really lovely condition on the interior in the back here as well uh, you've got an armrest that folds down in the middle here which i'll try to do there we are quite useful should you only be having two people in the back not the easiest thing to do one-handed but yes i have achieved it plenty of room in the back here for again full-size humans uh, I think that's all I need to show you in the back. Now, in true Sell Your Car UK style, as I open up the boot, you will see all of the docks. And there we have them. Uh, now, I'll come to those in a moment. The first thing I just want to mention is the fact that it is sitting on this very cool all-weather rear parcel boot shelf thing. Uh, so this mat here is an optional extra. Uh, underneath that, you've got this tray here. Uh, and that can be removed as well to give you even more boot space should you need it. But at the moment, that is revealing a drawer like this, which comes out, which is a really clever thing for storage of wellies and that kind of stuff. Also, just shopping stops all from rolling around. Uh, there's only one drawer. There may have been two, but the second one is missing. Um, I don't think there ever was two, though. Uh, and then this side, you can just store things that are long and cumbersome, should you so wish. But again, you can remove this here. Uh, and that gives you even more space in there. Also a bit more storage over here where you've got the towing eye. Uh, and on this side, this actually has the jack in it. Above that, you've got a little power uh, socket as well, should you need to plug anything in the boot. Parcel shelf is coming with the car, connects to the back of the seats like that. And then this bit here pulls forward. 
Now, the most important thing in this boot at the moment, without doubt, as far as I'm concerned, is all of the docks. Now, the service history shows a service completed at 51,465 miles on the 5th of October 2015. And then there are services going all the way back 14, 13, 2012, 2011 and 2010. There are, in fact, two stamps uh, for the service done in 2013 uh, 16th of august and the 22nd of august shows you quite like rightly there the type of service is just the filters air pollen and fuel and an inter service done by nissan themselves uh, this is where the nissan stamps stop probably because the bills suddenly didn't seem to make much sense to get it continued to be serviced at nissan so baker's autos have looked after it ever since and we've got loads of bills to back all of that up bills from baker's autos and going all the way back We've got bills from Glyn Hopkin Nissan, Nissan as well. Uh, also coming with an MOT certificate showing uh, the MOT expires on March the 12th, 2016. There was one advisory item and that was the near side and offside front tyres were wearing on the inner treads. Uh, that has been sorted and you can see that if you look at the tyres. Also coming with the car, you've got all of the books and this very neat little handy manual holder, this little leather wallet. And finally, you've got the logbook, the V5, showing that one previous keeper, which is, again, I said, I'm not going to show you the names and addresses for data protection, uh, but just rest assured, as I say, it is a father and daughter. Uh, again, not going to show you all of the details here, but just showing you date of first registration, 12th of March, 2009. Oh, and I showed you the number plate. Got to be quick. Well, you can see the number plate. It might help you with an HPI check. We block them out on the videos just because it makes life a little bit trickier for the criminality amongst them. Uh, so there we have it. That's everything in the boot. Uh, all the docks, all the service history, uh, those really cool features of the floor mats and the drawers and what have you. That's a really nice touch, actually. And uh, I don't think it's standard on all of these cars. So a nice thing to have. So there we have it. I think that pretty much covers everything that you need to know about this fabulous Nissan X-Trail. So again, it's the two litre diesel automatic or DCI auto. It's the Aventura Explorer on an 09 plate, first registered March 2009, currently on two keepers and 52,739 miles. No service required until October 2015. MOT not required until the middle of March 2016. I just said 15. I meant 16. Uh, so yes, October 2016, the next service is required, or 11,000 miles according to the dash display. We can obviously get it MOT though prior to you taking delivery of the vehicle. So there we have it. If I've forgotten anything, then please do get in touch. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Of course, viewings and test drives are welcome, but there is only one place to get this fabulous Nissan X-Trail, and that is exclusively using Sell Your Car UK. Thanks for watching.